How much latitude do police have to conduct warrantless searches of vehicles under police department control? The Supreme Court considered this question in Caddy v. Dombrowski. Chester Dombrowski was involved in a single-car accident near a small rural Wisconsin town. Police were called to the scene and realized that Dombrowski was intoxicated, so they arrested him for drunk driving. After identifying himself as a Chicago police officer, Dombrowski lost consciousness and was admitted to the hospital. The police department didn't have an impound lot, so Dombrowski's car was towed to a privately owned service station where it was left unguarded. The arresting officers believed that Chicago police officers were always required to carry their service revolvers. The officers had searched Dombrowski and hadn't found his revolver, and they were concerned that it had been left in the car where it was accessible to vandals. Pursuant to a departmental policy designed to protect the public, an officer returned to the service station and searched the car for the revolver. In the trunk, the officer discovered bloody clothing and other items that led police to the body of Herbert McKinney. A Wisconsin state court convicted Dombrowski of McKinney's murder. Dombrowski filed a habeas petition in federal district court arguing that police had unconstitutionally seized the items in the trunk. The district court denied the petition, but the Seventh Circuit reversed. The United States Supreme Court granted cert 